Hi, welcome back. One of the things I've always had difficulty creating is realistic voices for mods or games. Up until recently, low-cost uh, text-to-speech TTS programs were the cheapest solution to that uh, problem. Uh, these online solutions were mostly free, and the output voice quality generally sounded like unnatural or robotic. And hiring professional voice actors simply was not in my budget. And so uh, due to not just the cost, but also time limitations. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate new, a new go-to tool for making high quality, believable voices, which can be used for anything from narrating an ebook to presentations or modding or game development. What you are now listening to is my cloned voice, a bit of background on TTS. In linguistics, a phoneme is the smallest unit of speech. Phonemes help differentiate words from each other. Phonemes are a phonetic alphabet, a group of language-specific unique subword sounds. They are the building blocks of speech. Take the English word shoe, for example. There are four letters, but only two phonemes, shoe and oo. During the text processing stage, TTS programs analyze the structure and meaning of sentences and words and break out the related phonemes. The program would then add melody and rhythm to the speech, determining the volume and length of each phoneme, and then synthesize the voice. Most TTS systems lack the ability to add subtle intonation, modulation, and stress levels. The result is that TTS voices typically sound mechanical and unnatural. With the advent of advanced AI learning systems, there are now much better solutions available. My main go-to site for voiceovers is Eleven Labs. Their voice output, in my opinion, is easily one of the best on the market right now in terms of output. Their voices don't sound mechanical and have a good stress and intonation level. It would be nice to have an excitement slider to be able to increase the relative energy levels of the voice. Anyway, here's an example of a medic talking to a down player and he's saying uh, you're one lucky son of a bitch another inch to the left and you would have had to change your name to Harriet okay so I'll go through the features on 11 labs I'm not getting funded by 11 labs this is simply my observation based on all the experience I've had with multiple different text-to-voice systems so I've selected a couple of voices that I like the most I'm going to use a deep voice for the medic you're one lucky son of a bitch Another inch to the left, and you would have had to change your name to Harriet. I must admit, that's pretty good. You can modify the stability and similarity settings, uh, and stress uh, exaggeration, and you can boost the speaker and so on. Uh, 11 labs have also got a total of 29 languages that you can select from. You can also select English or your particular language and then give it a German accent or whatever accent you, you really want. Okay, so I'm going to do a radio broadcast from the tower on an aircraft carrier to a pilot waiting to take off. And he's going to be given clearance to take off and a weather forecast and so on. So I've written a little bit of text, which I'm going to ask it to read. I'm going to find a suitable voice, so let's see what that sounds like. You are cleared to launch. Radar contact 30 degrees heading northwest. Weather report for the Altis operational region for the next 12 hours. Partly cloudy. Southerly 10 knot winds. Gusting up to 15 knots. So expect some turbulence. Have a good day. That sounds pretty good. Let's try one more voice. Let's try this guy. You are cleared to launch. Radar contact 30 degrees heading northwest. Weather report for the Altis operational region for the next 12 hours. Partly cloudy, southerly 10 knot winds, gusting up to 15 knots. So expect some turbulence. Have a good day. So they both seem to have a problem pronouncing Altis, so we'll change that with a, to a, a U.S. Okay, and I'll generate the new sound. You are cleared for launch. Radar contact 30 degrees heading northwest. Weather report for the Altus operational region for the next 12 hours. Partly cloudy, southerly 10 knot winds, gusting up to 15 knots, so expect some turbulence. Have a good day. Okay, we just need to download it now. Well, 
we'll just drag it into our preferred editor, which is in this case, uh, Cool Edit Pro. You are cleared for launch. Radar contact 30 degrees heading northwest. Okay, so the sound is perfect. Looks like it's well balanced. So we're going to just generate a little bit of silence. The beginning and the end. So we'll give it two seconds on the beginning and the end. Now what we want is, because this is going to be coming through on a radio, we need a hiss sound. And then copy the whole thing and mix paste it over here. All right, so it's not going to really sound good because it will sound like he's standing right next to you and you've got this hiss background. Which you are cleared good. to launch. Radar contact. We need to make the voice sound like it's on a radio. So I'll go to this little FFT filter. We'll look for a preset which is called telephone voicemail. We'll apply that. You are cleared to launch. Radar contact. That sounds better. We need to amplify it. So we'll Give it a three decibel boost. Give it nine. Let's just see if that's too loud. You are cleared to launch. Okay, that sounds fine. Background hiss. Get rid of a little bit of dead audio here, at the beginning and the end. And now we'll play it. You are cleared to launch. Radar contact 30 degrees heading northwest. Weather report for the Altus operational region for the next 12 hours. Partly cloudy. Southerly 10 knot winds. Gusting up to 15 knots. So expect some turbulence. Have a good day. Okay. And so now we have a nice sound effect that we can use in the game. And it's as simple as that. Courtesy of 11 Labs. And a little bit of uh, hiss. A couple of beeps. I'll call this clear to launch. Save it to the desktop. I'll just show you a few additional features under voices. There's a voice lab where you can actually create a voice for that's more suited to your need. In this particular case, I was looking for ATC, an American voice, male, mid 30s to 40s. And he needs to have a very nice, clear, strong voice. And uh, you can change the voice settings, as I said, stability, similarity, style and exaggeration, and uh, speaker boost. If you go to Voice Labs and you go to the Voice Library, you can choose what type of voice you're looking for. Narrative, story. You can, you can go into the selection criteria. You can specify age, gender, category, high quality quality professional voice, gender, age, the different language types that you want. And this will be in, in the actual language. So let's say Arabic, for example. أفضل طريقة لتوقع المستقبل. مع صوتي ستضفي على علامتك التجارية لمسة احترافية تميزها so عن المنافسين. Now let's go back to, let's go back to English. And we want an accent. Uh, let's say we want a, an Indian accent. Looking for an energetic voice that is expressive as well. Then go ahead with this. Bit quiet. Some of these are much more. Hey, good friend. Wild. This is an Indian voice with energetic tone that can be used for multiple purposes. Hey, hope you're doing well. Looking for a deep and commanding Indian voice? Then this is it. Sometimes people are beautiful, not in looks, not in what they say, just in what they are. So that's just the indication of what you can do. And some of these voices are incredible. You can also make your own voices and then people use it. If the community uses your voice, you could actually get paid for it, which is really cool. Okay, so Eleven Labs uh, has a number of different products. Uh, text to speech, which we've obviously discussed. Speech to speech, where you can upload uh, your voice and then have your voice changed to a different speaker and generate a, uh, an audio book using the language uh, or the specific voice that you've chosen from uh, Eleven Labs. You can take a video and uh, have the audio change or the voice over 
change to whatever voice you want. Uh, you can use the API and websites and, and other apps, 29 languages that, that, that it supports. You can do cloning, you can modify voices, and hopefully if the community likes them, you can earn some money from it as well. So the only thing I would like is a, like a stress or an excitement slider. But other than that, it's a great tool. So I think per month you get a certain number of free credits which worked on a per character basis. So if you give it to read a really long passage, you're probably going to use up your free credits almost immediately, especially if you regenerate the same text with multiple different speakers. Then they have plans like a starter plan with $5 a month uh, and so on. And uh, you go through that, uh, you can go through that those limits very quickly unless you know exactly what you're looking for but it's it's in my opinion worthwhile uh, it's comparatively cheap for the quality of the output so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon if you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content as always thanks for watching and see you next time